If you want a blog, website or YouTube channel, one of the ways to make money from it is through Google AdSense. At least 99% of bloggers make money from Google AdSense and almost all new bloggers make their income from Google AdSense. In this video, I will explain some of the things you will need, some of the things you need to avoid and problems you will likely face with your account and how to solve them. Let's get into the video. Now first thing is requirements. You should know that creating a Google AdSense account is free. Although you will pay any amount at all, but you will need to verify your account using some of your documents. You will need a Gmail account. You will, you will need to verify your identity using your national ID card, voter's card, international passport, or driving license. And you also need to verify your address. Google will send the code to verify your address using postal office. Later in this video, we'll go through some of the problems you will encounter when verifying your account. Now, so to create your Google AdSense account, you can just search for Google AdSense on Google search engine. Then you'll be taken to the registration page where you will register with your Gmail and website. Note that the only email accepted here is Gmail. You cannot use Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, and any other type of mail. The only mail accepted is Gmail. After registration, after registration, you need to connect your website to Google AdSense by adding a code from your Google AdSense account to your website. That's where Google can easily track your website's content and traffic, and they will be sure it's you that owns the website. You receive a message from Google AdSense if your website is ready to show ads or not. If not, you can reapply to Google AdSense as many times as possible. Now, one thing people do when registering for a Google AdSense account is that they choose top tier countries like UK, US, Canada, and the likes instead of picking their own country, for example, Nigeria. The reason why many people do this is because they believe that any top tier country AdSense account like UK Google AdSense account will earn you more money than Nigerian Google AdSense account. But this is not entirely true. Having a US or UK Google AdSense account will earn you the same amount as having a Nigerian account. But in only some scenario, which I won't be explaining because I want this video to be as short as possible. The way it actually works is that ads viewed from top tier countries like US earns you more than ads viewed from developing nations like Nigeria, India and the likes. Let's say I have a tech niche website. If my audience is from Nigeria, I'll be earning like $1 to $2 per 1,000 views. While some content can earn me anywhere between $10 to $15 per 1,000 views if my audience are from the US. So even if you have a US AdSense account, if your traffic is from Nigeria, you will still be earning little amounts. So to be on the safer side, you should create a Nigerian AdSense account. Because Google will send address verification code to the address you register. And if you are creating for other countries, if you don't have someone that can pick up the code for you, you won't be able to verify your address and you will likely not have an ID card to verify your identity as a citizen of such country. Whereas having a UK US account will earn you the same amount as having your Nigerian AdSense account. Now, problem number two, identity verification. Once your website has been accepted by AdSense, you will start saying ads on your website if everything is right. When your website makes up to $10, you'll be asked to verify your identity. Now, one of the problems as a Nigerian is that you might not have any government approved identity card. If you have a driver's license, original national ID card, voter's card, or international passport, you are good to go. But if you have none of these, there is a way to go about it. You should know that AdSense does not accept the NIN slip or that card downloaded from the NIFC app. It should be the original national ID card, which only few people have. Now, if you don't have any of these ID cards, you can use someone else's ID card. For example, as at the time I created my own AdSense account, I don't have any ID card, so I use my dad's driving license. You just have to update your that's name here on the dashboard or anybody you are using their card under the payment section here. Don't worry, you'll be able to receive your payments to your own bank account as long as the payee's name still remains your name. And that is the name you used in registering 
the account. Once your ID has been verified, you'll be sent address verification code to your registered address. When you get the code, you can use it to verify. You can request that the code to be resent up to three times if the code does not arrive at your address. And you can also check your nearest post office just to see if the code arrives at their destination, but they were unable to reach you. About 50% will not get their code. If you are one of these people, make sure you tell Google to resend the code up to three times, which makes it four times the code was sent. After the fourth time, and you did not receive your code, you will have to visit this page. Then follow the instructions, telling Google you did not receive your code. Google will then send you to the verification page where you will use your identity card again to verify. But make sure the address on your ID card is what you entered in the address dashboard. After submitting your card, you will wait for about 24 hours for the card to be verified. When done, your account is now verified and you cannot add your payment method. I recommend adding a DOM account as your payment method. I already show you guys how to add your DOM account to Google AdSense. And if you want to know how to create a DOM account from home, watch the video in the description below. If you use a domiciliary account, you can go to the bank and withdraw your earnings in cash, then exchange it in the black market. That way, you will get better rates and not lose some money to banks. So I hope you learned one or two things about AdSense in this video. If there is any problem you are frequently facing with your AdSense account, don't hesitate to tell me in the comment section below. I'll make sure I reply to all comments. So that's it for this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that and hit the bell icon in order to get notified when I publish new videos. See you in the next one.